qualified for Berkeley. I don't you remember you in Norma Torres people? Oh, the way the people are rising. Yeah. 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 We want Norma out. No, I know. Yeah. 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 So for a very good reason. I, no, I get it. I was talking to a couple of you guys. Cameras before. really yeah, make yeah. him like really heavy. Is there any way you can? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's unfortunate. We're, we're, he's he's at a weight loss program right now. He's trying to work on right now. <laughs> How are we doing today? Do you guys today? have like an established oh, line down? Me, How are you doing? Okay, just want to let you see that. What's that, a blank? No. Oh. Oh, it's my ID. Oh, this right here? I can't no, see. No, no, no. Oh, I didn't see that. Do you guys have a, a line captain established? Yeah, I just like A what? Like a line? Uh, the person okay. in charge? That would be there. me. Oh, you're right okay, here. line captain. Okay, there you go. Did I talk to you last okay, time? We should record them back. No. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. You, you, uh, you know, now that you mention it, I think we did speak. Yeah. At the uh, open house. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, the summertime, right? Yes. The ice cream and all stuff? Okay. All Correct. Right. Okay, so we just want to come out and just make sure you guys are good on your end of it, right? Oh, and then make sure they're good on their end of it. Because obviously, oh, and goodness. this is old hat for her because I explained this last time, was you guys have a right to a piece of assembly, right? We have what? Right to a peaceful assembly. Exactly. Yeah, so, so it's not a problem on this stuff here. Constitutional right, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 For everybody. But they also have rights in there too. So it, what happens is we're here to mediate so you guys can still have your word as long as it's within the law. She can still conduct her business as long as it's within the law. Well, the re and we avoid conflict. The reason, yes. the reason we're here is because I'm a constituent of hers and mm -hmm. I know Norma personally very you well. Too. No, uh, well, She's we're all, doing. some of us are, and some of us are yeah. part of the group. I'm a constituent, and I have called her office a thousand times to get an appointment, and I told them the last time, I, they keep saying, are you coming alone? Yes, I'm coming alone. I need to talk to you about the immigration situation. Norma promised to talk to me, but I have not been able to get an appointment with her. So the last time I spoke to them, I said, this is the fifth time I've called in the last couple of weeks. I'm a constituent. But Norma has time to meet with everybody else, you know, the Syrian refugees and everybody else, but she doesn't have time to talk to me. I'm a constituent. I'm an American citizen. I'm very concerned about the open borders. And I have right to be, because we hear all over the airwaves uh, from, from our, uh, you know, generals and everybody else, how poor they are, okay? She won't meet with us. I said, okay, you tell her then I'm joining the group. I'm joining the group, and I'm here, and I'm proud to be here uh, it's my life she has she Honk and support has failed her duty to meet with me an american citizen what am I she knows me and she won't meet with me because she doesn't want to discuss the problem that's the problem and she is not my conscious woman and she doesn't want to discuss the problem I get, I get it. No, I, I got it. I got it the first time. Yeah. I'm not here to take sides, just so you guys know. No, no, okay. um, my whole thing is, we deal with the law portion of it. We want to keep the peace. Um, what we'd like to do is have both parties be able to do what they need to do. Yeah. She can do hers legally, you guys can do hers legally. We try to buffer in between it, because what we don't want to do is run around slap handcuffs on everybody and cart everybody to jail, because it gets ridiculous and it reduces everybody's effectiveness. Yeah. That's what we want to avoid. Well, we're peaceful. We've always been peaceful. We're always going to be peaceful. We want to be heard by her. Sure. And she will not do it. Uh, I think that that's wrong. Well, that's not what's going on. Everybody's entitled to a penny, right? Yeah. Except well, for me. Not an opinion, that's not right. Well, except for me. I'm not entitled. It's her job. It's my job. I've got to. You can say Honking in support. I'm a sharp guy. I got you. I understand what your, your grievance is. Mine has nothing to do with that, though. Mine is to make sure you guys can effectively do what you guys want to do without crossing the line of legalities, right? Because we had that one issue before, and that, that actually crossed over a little bit. But we'll, we'll cover that with, with you guys just to avoid future problems like that before. So I think the last time I talked to you, you weren't at the plane pole. So I think the last time I actually talked to you was the summer event, right? Yes. I forget what it was. Open house for Norma Torres. Yeah, it was like, yeah. And then Norma used to do a thing, I don't know if she does it anymore, but she used to have a date set aside where there's an open walk-in. Does she not do that anymore? No. no. Congress on your corner, she no longer does. She stopped this. doing okay. it. Yeah, because she, she was doing that as we'll of the summer. I just didn't know she stopped doing that. Yeah. So I was going to say, that would be a good vehicle for you, but if she's not doing that anymore, she refuses it's not to a do good it. That's, a, that's the other part of her job, is to walk and she refuses that sure. too. So. Oh, I get it, yeah. Um, so, 
What am I saying? Low per half. What am I doing? Oh. Who's the main point of contact for us so we can talk about That would be me. Okay, so we want to talk to you. We'll talk to you off to the side if you're okay. We'll just cover some of the legal things for your group and everything, just so everything's good. All right? And then so are you going to set it up with Norma that she talks with us? No, we don't I absolutely that. have nothing to do with representing Norma or her schedule. Well, what is her position? She's no a, idea. She, I know my position. Are you having talked to her? I've got the chief of police who sent me out here and told me that they're, that they're getting phone calls from everybody and to get your butt out here. That's well, from mind. who's everybody? Her. Really? Her. No, some, some are supporting, some are complaining. Are. You know, okay. We're getting a lot of public. horn so hopping here. Thumbs up. Man, we protested before too as officers, so we've been we've had people hunger for us. Okay. The only complaints you're probably getting are from her office because they've been out here taking pictures of us. And we're not doing anything. People call because somebody's walking down the street. How long they're on a big assembly? They call. And they have the right to call. Yeah, it's a while. So they call for my time. We're preventive maintenance. That's all it is. So nobody's doing anything wrong right so far. So I we just want to keep it that way. It's never going to be a problem with that. We don't we're intend we're we're peaceful. Yeah. That's a good thing for us. Yeah. It makes an easy day for us. Oh yeah. Do you know we had a rally last Saturday down in uh, Temecula for Mr. Donald Trump, and there were over 200 of us there. And the Hispanics. I'm not going to say Hispanic. The Mexican flag was brought in. First Several they were, of them. First they were across the street. Okay. Well, that wasn't effective. They were too far away from us. So then they walked over to our assembly, which over 200 of us peacefully assembled, and began infiltrating sure. and, and saying really nasty things. That's insightful. That means it's no longer going to be a peaceful thing. So when the sheriff came over, I asked if he would just please, you know, separate us out. He said they have a right to be there. I said, but they're being insightful, and we're trying to have a peaceful flying the Mexican flag. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I said, yes, there is. It's against federal code. Look at the federal code book in the United States of America. They cannot do that without the American flag being above it or to the right equally. And that what their intention is is to insult us. And they're insightful. But nothing's ever done, you know? It's like, okay, so finally they were separated out from us. Finally. But there's a lot of shouting going on. And if we want to have a peaceful country, we have a right to our opinion, they have a right to theirs. Well, you find your spot, we already found ours. That's the way it works. Well. No excitement okay. expected. Look, it, it, it's interesting, but we're not even going to get to that because you're talking about an event that had nothing to do with me. Right. We weren't here, it wasn't we're, in our Riverside town. Riverside County, yeah, some you were. cities away. Yeah, I mean, let's they, concentrate on Ontario, let's concentrate on Ontario. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. do the last yeah. day of March. Yeah, because there's no way I can promise that. Are you on our that. side? We don't pick sides. We can't, we can't say we're in uniform, we're there, right? Yeah. We okay. can't, like I said, we can't have an wink, opinion. Wink if you are. You're, 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 putting, <laughs> you're, you're putting them on the spot. I With what, 20 a, cameras on I, He knows that. I know. I used to be a reserve officer. I know your spot. We have American flags on our badge. We're the only ones that can't have an opinion. Yeah. Let's go chat over here. Your law, which do you want? What your chief told you to do. That's what we have Thank to do, right? You no problem. We're watching. Go touch her. <laughs> we're peaceful too. See? Okay. And we're allowed to touch her. Okay. I shook his hand earlier. Okay. That, that's. I don't think I broke the law on that. <laughs> okay. So here's some of the things we want to cover with you. Do you want? Do you want to go over here real quick so we can talk? Wherever you want to go, slide. Yeah. Okay. I want to cover, talk to you. I want to cover things with you, but I don't, I don't want to field everything with everybody because you run your group, and hopefully that works out well. And then, uh, do you mind taking that real quick from inside? Um, we'll have you run your group and everything, so you you know what to do on your end of it. We've dealt with this before. What we can't have is what happened before. Remember when you guys went in, kind of pushed in when they asked you guys to leave, and you guys didn't leave. That's actually where it broke the law, but they didn't want to push charge, press charges, so it worked out on that one. We can't have that on this one you here. You mean when we were at a public event at All an open until. house and Norma Torres would not allow us to record that event? That, well, the, we're talking about the same event, right? Correct. So what happened was when the law got crossed on that one was when you're asked to leave, that's when you're asked to leave. When you refuse to leave, when you're asked to leave, that's when it becomes issues, okay? 
So what I want to do is I want to avoid that on this one here. So the way she has to set up is the sign-in. Are you guys familiar with that? Well, sir, the thing is, we were there just like anybody else. We had the right to be there. When she was asking us to leave and not anybody else, that's discrimination. Well, here's the problem with that, okay? So I'll, I'll, I'll field one more thing on that, and then we're going to move to the present. Here's the problem with that is, speaking for somebody else's presence of mind on whether they're discriminating or not, that's all hammered out in the courts way after the fact. But the violation of the law exists right there in the present. Okay, so that the, the problem that we deal with is I'm not a court that's going to say I can prove that uh, I know what this person was thinking or their intent or anything like that. That's not what a court can do. Okay, that would have to be a court after the fact, but that wouldn't happen right then and there. Okay, but what would happen right then and there is as soon as they say we did ask this person to leave, they didn't leave for whatever reason, we could deal with that because that's in the present. Okay, so what I'm talking about is the violation. That's why I want to avoid this time. This one's easily avoided because we don't have to repeat that. And you guys can still go in there. You guys can still do a lot of stuff. But have you guys read the code of conduct for in here? Um, the code of conduct for most public events is respect, one for don't, dinner, don't disrupt. But, but everyone's different, right? So if you go to every different place, they have different codes of conduct. This one's posted on the entry points. Okay, so once you get in, it's on the immediate right. There's a code of conduct in there. So what they're gonna ask people to do is uh, not have anything that's gonna be disruptive. Right, and that's part of their code of conduct. Part of that would be like a sign. So they'd ask you guys to stack your signs by the door. They have the sign-in table, right? Just like almost every event, it's open to the public. That's not a problem at all. So they have no problems there at all. Um, they encourage you guys, if you guys want to come in there, the only thing is where it would violate it is as soon as somebody's being disruptive on what they interpret with their rules as being disruptive, they can ask you guys to leave. We don't get involved in that part until somebody refuses to leave. Does that make sense? And then we run to the same issue like we had last time, okay? So we can avoid all that stuff. You guys can still get your word out there. You guys can still um, do everything you're doing here. You guys aren't blocking any pedestrian traffic. You guys are good about that. I think you guys have always been pretty good about that. I've never had an issue with those issues. And then uh, I can, you can use me for a point of contact, okay? My name's Gusky. Gusky with a K, but you guys are on several recordings, so I think you guys will be fine right there, right? Okay. Yeah, so my name's Gusky, so you guys can hit me up. What I'll do is when I have problems, I'm going to deal with you since you're, we call it a line captain, but you can call That's whoever the person exactly is exactly what you can call me, a okay. line captain. Yeah, that works. We gave you rank. <laughs> so, yeah, I did, what it is for me is it's, le it's less disruptive. Like, say they're disagreeing with somebody on the inside. If I go to you and you talk to your own person rather than me going and talking to your people, because usually that works out better. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so I'll just go to you if I have anything. Are you are you guys planning on going in, signing in, doing the events and everything? We're, we're going to discuss that. Okay, yeah. so if you guys we, are in there, what I'll do is I'll look for you. And if you can look for me, if there's any problems. If you're having problems on your end, I'm going to ask the same thing I'm going to do with you. Is Just use me for a point of contact. If there's something that's going on, it's like, hey, I feel this is not right with whatever it is. Hit me up and we'll try to hammer through the issues. Because usually on these things, calmer heads prevail, right? And like you guys said, you guys have a right to assemble, of course. It's within your constitutional rights. It's just, we just want to avoid the disruption part. Do you guys have any questions for me? Do you have a card? Yep, I have a card. You don't have my card from last time? <laughs> I'm sure I've got it. Somewhere? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. No problem. Appreciate that. And the other thing I'd ask is, uh, I, I think I talked to a different gentleman last time. I know you were there too. Yes. But whoever I talked to last time, I asked if uh, if you guys have a bigger event where you're going to have a lot of people in there. Um, what helps us is if you guys give us a call ahead of time that we know you guys are coming out, we can talk to both parties. Okay. Right? We'll have your number. So we can talk to the, wherever the event is. Because what happens is, like this one here is is it an art contest. Is that what it is? Yes, yeah. it's a congressional it's art, art contest. Art. It's what? A congressional, a congressional art contest. Okay. Yeah, yes. so it's an art contest on yes. this one here. Yeah. So what happens is when they go around, they host these at different facilities. Right. Every facility, this is their first time. For you guys, it's not your first time, and for Norma staff, it's not their first time. But everywhere else on these different sites, it's their first time. They get nervous, and we get phone calls. But if you guys let us know ahead of time, feel like, hey, we're planning on coming out here. Generally what they tell us is we're coming out here, we're gonna be about 14 people, this is kind of what we're planning on. And then we come out, we always make contact with you guys because we have a small team of about five people that do this for our department and I'm one of five. One of us will contact whoever's in charge 
and then we'll work out whatever's going on and then we do the same thing with them inside it gives everybody peace of mind usually when we're here people are a little more calm not for you guys but on the inside and the people that get really excited are the the people managing the building right because it's their first time and they don't know what to expect does that make sense so if you guys can give us a heads up I'd got lots of support here a whole car full of guys honking but if you Excuse can give us a heads up in the future, it helps. Sure. You're not required to, it just helps out. Okay. And that way we can make sure that we get some staffing here. It's just as much for you guys as it is for them. Fair enough? What sure. that does also is you got the younger officers that can respond out here, and they're not familiar with the civil aspect of it. So it, it's better if one of the two of us go. There's only four of us that deal with this type of mediation. So uh, you don't want the young guys out here. I mean, they really, what they'll, their job is they get trained is to, Remedy a problem, remedying the problem generally is taking people to jail. In this situation, we don't want anybody going to jail. It doesn't work out for anybody. It's a long litigation, it becomes uh, civil suits and, and on and on. So our job is to make sure everybody goes away. You guys got your voice be heard. Let them deal with their thing and then we're out of here. Okay? All right, no questions? All right guys, so we'll see you. We'll, we'll be popping back and forth oh, the whole time. All right. So we'll be here for a little bit. Very good. All right. Thank, Thank you. you for your service. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate you appreciate stopping by. God bless. The only thing you got to watch out is just be careful. We were, we were blocking the sidewalk even when we were talking right yeah, now. Yeah, we so. understand. Okay, we so understand. We shouldn't have been blocked.